Jamie, thanks. New developments on the city of Dayton's PFAS problems are also just filed today to address the issue could reach into the billions. Fox 45's Alan Henry is live at City Hall with who the city blames for the dangerous chemicals. Alan. Now, the chemical was used as an ingredient in firefighting foam for decades before it was known to be toxic and non-biodegradable. And in the lawsuit, the city says it's seen those chemicals in the city's water supply. Ratepayers should not be responsible for cleaning up the contamination caused by these companies' products. Mayor Nan Whaley was joined by city officials earlier today in announcing a federal lawsuit against multiple companies. Those companies make products containing PFAS, a chemical that can pose a serious health risk. These products were used for decades for firefighting and fire training by civilian and military airports, fire departments, including the city of Dayton, and in industrial facilities throughout the region. These products were only used by the city of Dayton because we were unaware of the serious risks they posed. The city says the drinking water is safe, but an increase in PFAS has been seen in the water supply. A New York law firm with experience with the chemicals and the companies has been hired to lead the lawsuit. It's not uncommon for the costs associated with remediating PFAS to be in, in the range of 10 to $20 million a well. Using that math, with 180 wells in the city of Dayton, damages could be worth more than $3 billion. Earlier this year, the same law firm landed a major settlement in Minnesota. It settled uh, earlier this year for $850 million with the 3M company. The 3M company sent us a response to today's lawsuit saying, quote, 3M acted responsibly in connection with its manufacture and sale of AFFF and will vigorously defend its record of environmental stewardship. Now, the city of Dayton says it's still working with the Air Force Base and the Ohio EPA to make sure the drinking water is safe and clean. And Mayor Whaley says this lawsuit is one way of doing just that. Reporting live outside Dayton City Hall, Alan Henry, Fox 45 News.